Good afternoon, gentlemen of the press. Today, the 12th day of October 2021, we are here again to continue in our usual practice of keeping you briefed on recent developments in our anti-crime operations. Give you updates on ongoing investigations and also reveal to Nigerians some of the modus operandi of criminals and um, help citizens to be better prepared to actually deal with some of these emerging crime trends and patterns. In all, we are presenting to you a total of 48 male suspects with several exhibits and other items linked to some of the crimes. These 48 suspects are persons who have been empirically linked to crimes touching on homicide, kidnapping, armed robbery, unlawful possession of firearms, car theft, house breaking, burglary, office breaking and stealing, amongst others. A total of 24 assorted weapons consisting of one GPMG, three AK-47 rifles, nine AK-49 rifles, 495 AK-47 life ammunition, 10 laptops of virus mix, amongst other exhibits were recovered from these suspects. We are starting straight on with very pathetic case. A case of a cousin who actually masterminded the kidnap of his cousin. This young man, Abubakar Haliru. from Zaria has a cousin known as Binta Mohammed, age 48 years. Binta has, Binta who clearly has got a filial relationship with Haliru has been a pillar of support to Haliru. Gave Haliru a loan, a soft loan 
to purchase four tricycles for his personal use, Aliru is expected to simply pay back these loans over time. At a point, Haliru clearly not intending to return to pay back this loan, lured this relative of his out of Zaria on the pretense that she should accompany her to somewhere where she accompany him to somewhere where he's about to collect where he's going to collect money. And on on in that process, simply handed over Benta to a gang of kidnappers based in Galadimawa Forest in Jiwa local government area in Kaduna State. Galadimawa Forest straddles an area covering both Burning Wari uh, with borders up to Kasina State. Having handed over Binta to this gang of armed this gang of kidnappers, he gave a very strict instruction that they should make as much money as they can from her, and at the end of that, make sure she is killed. But Binta. had a divine visitation and that very night the first night of her kidnap she managed to escape from the kidnappers den unfortunately but still fortunately for her on her way out of that particular gang of kidnappers then, she ran into yet another roving gang of kidnappers who opportuni opportunistically took her. But this time around, with no clear prior relationship with them, the instruction that she should be killed was never executed. Within the time she was trying to transit out of the forest, she had already made calls, and that calls got through to IRT operatives, who also set machineries in motion that eventually facilitated her release um, from the kidnappers then. Benta is still currently receiving medical treatment. But the lesson herein is the fact that most of the kidnappings in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our cities, and in our states will never succeed or probably wouldn't have taken place without active connivance of people who are close to us and sometimes people from our own communities. And so we must continue to watch closely persons we relate with. We must continue to watch closely people who help. We must continue to pay very close attention to red signals and red flags that would suggest that we are probably living with unfriendly friends in our homes. This gang whose members are here or this, this gang members who are here are clearly very dangerous elements. They have a history of having participated in so many other kidnap operations in the past including the kidnap of eight persons from the National Leprosy and Tuberculosis Training Center in Zaria. This gang is also responsible for the killing of a female pharmacist 
from the Amadu Bello Teaching Hospital that was kidnapped some time ago, and so many other horrible crimes they've actually committed in the past. So Binta must have been a very lucky woman to have escaped death by whiskers. Halio will speak to you shortly, and one member of the gang will also speak to you. Zaria. Nakai Yata, Dajini, Gorin Kidnapper, Sakari Kamat, Yamana Sunanta, Sunanta Binta Mohammed, Nesa Kanin Kadeta, Tana Vina Kodi, Million Dead at the Yubi, Kodin Namene, Nachi Kana Pep need a Tabana alone, one day Regi Bangama Bian Taba. So made a little in the Saka Kata Wajan Kidnapper. Sorry, Niko Egasia. Nakai Tanidama and Saka and Shaban the Skansa. Ni masa wan wana apa sih insamu biata kodenta dateki vina. So ya kau kesan cewa we neng suna kidnapping. Ya aku ini wate arinya ada nak kini ma. Tu si wan dah mukia wa ada si si ya auriat. Tiad dah kena san teki na. Tiad dah kena san suna kidnapping kena. Tahanya kau wata dana kisu. Okay, he gave his name is, as Aubaka Haliru. He's from Zaria. He's 36 years of age. He confessed that he facilitated the kidnap of his cousin, who has previously given him a loan to purchase four tricycles for his business. And he was meant to repay back this soft loan. But because he couldn't meet up with the repayment, he decided to lure her hand over to this kidnap gang, one of whom he had already known in the past to be a criminal, a kidnapper, with the intention that she should be extorted, and maybe he will get some part of the money to enable him to repay the loan. Lona. Gamano Sunanka, Shekarunka, the end of the Muni Kinabin Alai Lebrace Alebrace Mutuna Kukadoka Mutun Takas Mutun Takas Eh Dakumaina Dutch Wagu Doka Madachi Mundoki Perfessa Sekumaina Seborgoji Anawa Kukadoka Namata Matani Yakuka Matan Munkata Dojini Wanda muka kai, wanda dengan gorba aja. Wanda muka dok kita agorba aja. So kau ni ni satu yang saya nunggu so dia. So mungkin ada orang tu. Mungkin nama mana tu atau mata. Aini dah cebam dia sedang jumpa bersuka aman yang dah akan basuba. Sinca masih dia izu ingkar ba aceng idang kumane idang idang ina dek kalih hendak senjir ungkap tu izu ungkap. Nu awan namba abanu kau kandala ba anu lebih si ni akbaru dibu biran temu kahade dasu. Sika cema sahuran si indah si koma yang dah si kaiza si kaya aman awak tu koma sebanyak sika cema na izu izu ungkar ba anu koma dekan anu si ni bayi sama. He admitted to the kidnapping at the National Leprosy and Tuberculosis Training Center. He owned up to some other kidnapping, like the kidnapping of a professor who lectures at the uh, Albuquerque Tafawa Balewa University in Bauchi. He owned up to some other kidnapping, including the one involving the female pharmacist who was later killed. There's another kidnapping he mentioned, which has to do with um, the wife and ki child of the owner of a very popular filling station in Zaria, Kaduna. 
his story is that um, he never really benefited from those kidnapping because at the end of the day, the other gang members uh, had a way of intimidating him out of the ransom. But it was in the case of the uh, leprosy center that they gave him 2000 only. They insisted that if he must get some more money, he should come and take it by force. So this young man has not really benefited much. Shekarun Kana. Shekarun Kana. Shekarun Kana. He's just 21 years old. Salisu Abdullahi and Babagina Usman. Salisu Abdullahi, age 28, a father of three, and Babangidu Usman, age 21. Both suspects belong to a very wicked gang that operates in the north, central, and northwestern part of this country. They are gang. The gang has a, a strong armory with three AK-47 rifles and two GPMGs. This gang is responsible for the kidnap of Reverend Father Tony Bauer, who a Catholic priest that was sometime kidnapped Thank God he was eventually, he came out alive. They're also responsible for several other kidnaps. Some resulted in deaths of innocent citizens. It's still an active investigation as we still have some of their gang members at large and operatives from the intelligence response team are closing up on some of these suspects. The suspects will talk to you briefly and we'll move on to the next case. Allahi da kakakar ko local government Shekarun kana Shekara na 28 His name is Salisu he is uh, 38 28 years he is from Kagarko local government area Me dalili ne sa aka kama ka ni akan sata ne aka kama ni Sata me ne ne kidnappa He said he was arrested for kidnapping Kana erga mana wakiki waku ka sate zan iya fada he said they were responsible for the kidnapping of a reverend father from an area called Kushim Makaranta. Now, what are you doing? Eight million. Can I ask you about the children? We go there every day. Today, do you want to see the reverend father? Deni, the Babengida, the Yelo, the Horengari, the Buhari. So, what are you doing now? Gudadia answer Keshi, Gudada and Zwaka Yana Ilori, the Akumachi and Achikin Dajin Dajin Kagarko, Hungarian Kuiri Kenan. One year and Makama Kuki and Pani also. Muna and Pani, the AK forty seven de Kalasin. Kayan Zaka Ya Harbin AK forty seven? Need to look only in the local Chi Iran Damuji, but a Bani Bindigas, the Abani at Dianiki. So she can and Zona.
His name is Babangida Usman. He is 21 years old. Okay, he said he's resident in Jere. Okay, Mr. Usman, you're a Okay, he said he's resident in Jere. He said he's resident in Jere. He said he was arrested for kidnapping. Motema uko kwa kidnapping. Nye kidnapping dem motong uko kwa rabala dem fara kwa chine du motumbi chine du da chine du motumbi. Okay. He confessed that uh, they kidnapped the Reverend Father, and he mentioned two other victims whose name he gave as chine du. Can I agree man abunde faru da chine du? Eh abunde faru da chine du day. Na wanda aka kidnapping din sa har ya samu yare saran sa wannan ogan mu ne suka je suka kidnapi tsauran sakamakon sun karbi 250 sun jiya za su tafi jiya yayi a ratsin mutun daya kama yadda zai wace yake a hannun sa da ya jiya bude mai wuta okay he said that um, one of the victims chine do whom they kidnapped unfortunately lost his life according to him that after his kidnap he attempted to wrestle with the with one of the gang leaders, and that was how they shot and killed him. The first few minutes of every kidnap operation is the most dangerous time. When kidnappers have already gotten hold of you and the kidnap is did not take place or is not taking place in a public area where a simple alarm from you could actually cause them to abandon you and run away you need to exercise a lot of caution like i said earlier the first few minutes of every kidnap operation is the most dangerous moment. The kidnappers are in a stage of fright or flight. They are as panicky as their victim. And at that point in time, at the slightest provocation, they can pull their triggers. And so, why we don't pray for any of us, any of our citizens, or any visitor in Nigeria to be a victim of kidnapping, you must understand the underlying psychological behavior of those kidnappers, whether in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Russia, in US, that, few, that first few minutes can be very dangerous. Once you are safely, once you are also in their den, you must, you must weigh your options properly before you make any move. If the conditions are not ripe for you to stage an escape, please take your time and be sure you don't take that risk we will most often when you are in the den of kidnappers just know that thousands of police officers thousands of law enforcement agents hundreds of security men outside are doing everything they can to get you out safely and do not take do anything that will actually um, complicate your rescue or your coming alive safe. Jonah Patrick. Abel Namfa is 23 years old. Nankung Wazi, 32 years old. And Jonah Patrick, 25 years old. The trio were arrested in Joss for complicity in armed robbery, car theft, and unlawful possession of weapons. 
this gang cumulatively have been in armed robbery for close to seven years. But like we always say, no matter how fast you run, and no matter your endurance, your endurance strength will, will catch up with you. They've also been in and out of prisons. In their latest operation, they stole a Toyota Corolla, sold the Corolla, and used the proceeds to strengthen their armory, acquiring an AK-47 rifle for 620,000 Naira. We want to appeal to members of the community, family members especially. to help us to police this country. These young men clearly belong to different communities. They've got, hus they've got wives. Some of them have got children. They've got fathers. They've got uncles, nephews, nieces, cousins, friends, neighbors. And yet they've been in armed robbery. One of them has been in robbery for four years, another for two years, another for three years. And yet nobody is working with the police to ensure that we'll keep them, we'll put them behind bars. We need to collaborate with our local law enforcement agents, and we need to work with each other in order to deepen our communal safety. We allow you to speak to them very briefly before we go to the next case. What's your name? Just tell us your name, your age, and where you come from. Abel Nanfa, I'm from Plateau State. I'm 23 years old. How long have you been in robbery? Sir? How long have you been in robbery? For four years, sir. Which states of the Federation do you operate? Plateau. Which area of Plateau? Uh, they arrested me at Rayfield. They arrested you where? At Rayfield. Just Rayfield. Yes, sir. Where do you operate? Is it just? Massacre, sir. Massacre? Yes, sir. Have you been to prison before? Yes, sir. What took you there? So we had a fight with a friend. No, 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 no. You have a gun? Yes, sir. What kind of weapon? Sir, and a big rifle, sir. A big rifle? Yes, sir. How much did you, how did you get it? Sir, we bought it 620. How? We collected a Corolla at Massacre, so we sold it. We collected a Corolla at Massacre. We collected it. or you stole? We they stole. are two different things. We stole. We stole a car at Massacre, so we sold it at the rate of 900,000. So we moved inside and bought the rifle, sir. So the rifle was for what? So for robbery, sir. For further armed robbery. Yes, sir. The rifle is for what? So we bought it for a reason. Give the phone. What's your name? My name is Nankum Waji. Nankum? Yes, sir. How old are you? I'm 32. Where are you from? From Platt. What do you do for a living? I'm a farmer, sir. You are a farmer? Yes, sir. Are you also an arm robber? Yes, sir. Which of them, face that camera, which of them is your full-time job and which of them is your part-time job? 
Farming is my full-time job, sir. And what is armed robbery to you? Sir, it's just... Say it know. properly. I don't have a name for it because I don't do that often. How long have you been doing it? A year and some months now. Who introduced you to armed robbery? One Mr. Uh, Beatrus. Give the phone to your brother. Your brother in armed robbery. What's your name? Jonah Patrick. How old are you? 25 years. What do you do for a living? I do borehole work for a living. I'm a driller. You do borehole work? Yes, sir. Do you rob once in a while? Yes, sir. I join robbery. I rob once. The first target that I went to rob, I get problem. That's they shot me. They shot me, police. So I've been like three years before I heal. Since then, I do not rob again. I change. Before I enter this car, the vehicle, the, those young men that are inside, I don't know that they are want they want to go and rob. So they got me with them. That's why I'm arrested, but I'm a change man. It's just my past is is affecting me now because of the gunshot. That's why they say I'm not I'm not speaking the truth. I'm still in the game. But actually between me and my God, I'm a change man because it always cost my life. This thing that I've done, it always cost my life. So you robbed before, but you are a change man now. Yes, I'm a change man. I'm a so what is your message to those who are still robbing? My, my message with them is that let them tra try and change. Let them de deliver all their rifle because one day they may do it, but one day they may go to court. Uh, maybe they will die or they will get them right hand then, or they will suffer before any other thing. That's what the message I have for them. Thank you. Other armed robbers out there, other kidnappers, other cultists, other drug dealers to repent, change, or get ready to face the music. Thank you for coming around. God bless you from all of us in the Nigerian police force and particularly the IRT family we say have a fantastic day.